Welcome back. Prack Ruthie Rowe from Tumwater Middle School designed this image that you're seeing right now. The theme of Rowe's piece is describing what she is grateful for, which she says is her little sister. You can now vote for Rowe's design to win the National Doodle for Google competition. We have that link on coin.com. The student voted as the national winner will have their art featured on Google's homepage for 24 hours. That's so cool. <laughs> now guys, Leah Johnson wanted to be a superhero growing up, but instead she just settled for being an award-winning author. Not too bad if you ask me. And she's not doing too bad, all right? Her debut novel was one of Times 100 best young adult books of all time. Jamie Hudson had a chance to chat with Leah about her new book, Ellie Engel Saves Herself. Check it out. Okay, super excited to be joined by Leah Johnson right now. Leah, first off, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we're excited because Leah, I know that you've got this new book coming out and it's more middle school based, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming over from YA. I wanted to write a few more fart jokes than usual, so I thought middle <laughs> grade was the way to go. <laughs> Great. Well, let's dive in. It's Ellie Engel Saves Herself. Tell me the overview of this book. Yeah, so Ellie Engel Saves Herself is about a 12 year old comic book nerd named Ellie Engel who believes herself to be exceedingly ordinary. She thinks the only thing that makes her a little different, a little weird, is that she has a crush on her best friend and has no idea what to do about it. And then the night before seventh grade, there's an earthquake and she wakes up suddenly with the power to bring things back to life with her touch. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, where did this character come from, Leah? Well, I was an awkward queer black girl growing up in Indiana, and so I really, really wanted to take a character like the kid I was at that age and put her in the center of her own big heroic story. Um, we don't see nearly enough black girl magic, and so I wanted to sprinkle a little bit of that all over middle grade. <laughs> Love it. Well, what is special about, you know, the friendship and the relationship really between Ellie and her best friend, Abby? Yeah, so Ellie is comfortable being in the background, whereas mm -hmm. Abby is a bold, brave, super theatrical gymnast. And one of the things that I wanted to show in this story is that you can have people in your life who are very, very different from you, but who can still provide you a safe space to be yourself. And Ellie and Abby have a hard time figuring out how to how to navigate that in the beginning, but they figure it out. With all of that, Leah, you can imagine that you, you probably wrote about all the different growing pains, everything that goes into being a middle schooler. <laughs> Middle school is a nightmare. I, I have to be honest. I don't know, maybe it was easier for other people, but for me, it was a mess, right? Yeah. And they're navigating so, so much. Like not only are young people dealing with changing bodies and changing hormones and, and knowing that your community and self is different, but not really knowing what to do about that. But now kids that are growing up today, even worse than when we were growing up, have to reckon with what it means to have your image all over the internet and what it means to lose sort of control over how people see you or speak about you. And I just thought it was so important to tell an honest story about how scary that can be. Oh, yes, no kidding. All right, I can't talk to Leah Johnson and not talk about your best selling book, You Should See Me in a Crown, which is such a great title uh, in itself, Leah. But what was it like for you going through that process? And I mean, I know you were a part of Time's 100 Best Young Adults Books of All Time. What was that like? Astounding. I was screaming, crying, throwing up. I mean, like, how do you react to an honor like that, especially when there weren't a ton of books that were like you should see me in a crown when i was a young person and so i didn't think that the book was going to go as far as it did i didn't think we were going to have as many readers as we did and i'm just really really honored that so many people have seen themselves in this story well what's next uh, i mean is ellie going to be a series <sighs> 
We're going to see more Ellie next year. We have a sequel coming out. It's called Brie Boyd is a Legend. It takes one of Ellie's friends from this book and makes her the main character and makes her a hero in her own right. And I'm really, really excited to share that one with you. Oh, Leah, well, we are very excited. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and sharing all about your books. Uh, it was great talking with you. Thank you so much for having me.